Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel English, and at this channel, we're focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And today, we're going to keep moving through our series in Notion, and today, specifically looking at rollups and how you can use rollups from your relational databases to compile information super easily. I mean, this is a feature that I use all the time and you're not gonna wanna miss out. Now, if you don't know what relations are in Notion and how to use them, click on my link above and I made a video all about relations and, and watch through that first and then come back here and then you'll have a good foundation for how you can use rollups. And if this sounds interesting to you and you're someone who wants to learn more about how to use Notion to increase the productivity in your life, Click the like button below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the latest Notion content. But with that being said, let's jump into the video. Now if you watch my video on relations, we worked through and we created uh, as customers database and merchandise database and then we linked them together with relations where on each customer here you can see the merchandise that they purchased and that's a really helpful start. Now today we're going to go through how we can take those relations that we created and then use rollups to compile even more data automatically and make all of your databases work together and give you information immediately. And so looking here, we're going to go look back at our merchandise page. And you'll notice here, you know, I added a column that's price, you know, the price of each of these products. So we've got the name of the product, the price, and then the customers who purchased the product. Super just basic level uh, database. And obviously when you're doing this, you're going to be able to add a lot more stuff, but I'm just wanting to show you the basics of how this works. So what if when we go back to the customers page, I mean, we've already linked the merchandise that they purchased. What if we want to automatically see how much money they spent in their transaction? Um, well, this is where rollups are perfect. So if we go over here and we add another column and we go and we're going to, uh, uh, we'll say price of transaction, something like that. And then instead of relation, we're gonna go down and click on roll up. And now when we click on the cell here, it's gonna ask you to select an existing relation. So you have to already have a relation to do a roll up. Now we have that relation here between purchased merchandise, uh, the, the merchandise here and the customer. So we're going to select the relation of, since we're in the customer's page, we're gonna select the relation that customers have to purchase merchandise. But then it's gonna have, you'll see, it's just gonna duplicate what we have, and that's not really what we want. But you can select the property, and this is what's awesome, is because now instead of the name showing up here, you can go down and choose price. And you'll see, when we do that, it just shows all of the prices uh, for each of those products, which, I mean, that, I suppose that could be helpful. But what's awesome is you can go down to calculate, and instead of show original, it gives you all these options of what you can ask that cell to show. And so the one that I think would be most helpful here is if we go down and do sum. And now it automatically, every time you add a customer and, it, and link them to a product, it's gonna automatically add up how much they spent in that transaction. And that again is such a is a super helpful way to instead of you know having to add that all up automatically, Notion does it for you. And you know, like I mentioned, there are other uh, options here for calculating. You know, you can uh, count all is just counting how many cells uh, in the relation have um, uh, data. So I believe that you know doing this would be two because there's two products. Um, you can count, count unique values, count that are empty, um, you know, <laughs> range, max, min, median, uh, average. It, it gives you so many options for uh, compiling data automatically. Now I wanna show you kind of a way that I use this uh, in my own life. Um, so we're gonna actually switch back over. Let's go back to just my Notion setup here. We're gonna go to daily tracking. Now this is kind of the way I track, um, kind of am I living the way that I say I wanna live each day? And, and mainly what I'm referring to here 
is each day I've got all these different categories represented by emojis and then I click a checkbox um, to signify I did what I wanted to do that day representing that emoji. Now another way you can do rollups is a rollup just within a table, just aggregating the data within the table that you're looking at. So what I do here is you'll see I have all of these you know checkboxes. Well the information that I want to get from this is how you know what's what's my percentage that of success rate of doing these habits and so down here you'll actually see I've got percentages for each of these because when you click it down here you can choose again kind of a, a roll up for that data so I can do you know what I clicked here was the percent of those in that column that are checked and that's how I'm getting that number now what's also awesome is I use rollups a ton when it comes to weekly tracking. And so let's go over to my weekly tracking page. Now what I do here is I create each time a week starts I create a new week. And so I just label the page you know this current one's June 14th to 20th. And then back in my daily tracking, I've got a relation to each day to the week that it falls in. And that's really important. That's, that's, you need to do that to get this roll up functionality because that's the relation that we're talking about. You can only do roll ups if you have a relation. So we go back to the weekly tracking here. Now that I have this relation, if we open up you know, this week, you'll notice related to daily tracking, it's got each of the days, you know, so far, I gotta add one more day to get all the data for the week uh, of this week. And then what I do is all of this right here, it's all the same habits that I was tracking on daily tracking are rollups from that relation. Um, so you'll notice I, when I, uh, let's go over to, you know, reading each day, it's a, we're gonna configure rollup it is related to daily tracking and then it's how much I read checked and it's the percent checked and it's only related to the ones the days from daily tracking that I've related to this week so it's only going to give me my average for this week and so basically I've now got weekly averages automatically compiling for me every single time and this is a great just feedback mechanism of you know how how am I doing and you could take this to month then when when you know I haven't haven't done this yet this is kind of a new system for me but in monthly tracking I'm planning on taking all of these weeks and then I'm going to do a roll up of that because I'm tagging each of these weeks into a month um, and so uh, yeah there we go it's it's over here uh, I've got them all tagged in my June month and then I'm gonna do a roll up for June and this is just, this is the way I've used rollups a ton is with my daily habit tracking. And it's just a super effective way of automatically compiling all this. Cause I don't have to go through and calculate anything and calculate anything. It's giving it immediately for me. And then I can immediately get into the feedback and reflection stage of how am I doing? Well, there you have it guys. That was just a quick look into rollups and how you can use rollups to automate data all throughout your Notion setup. And, and let me know down below, I'd be really curious to hear how are you using rollups in your Notion setup? I mean, I'm you know just, just figuring these things out myself and realizing the power that rollups have. And I'd love to hear how are you using rollups in your setup? And like I mentioned, stay tuned because we're gonna keep releasing these Notion videos and, and keep learning the power of Notion together. But that's it for today, until next time.